Ya kati swali langu la kwanza tunaanzia na mchakato mzima wa adali JKA na umelitaja kwa kinywa kipana sana na kutokana na kila ambacho nimekuelewa na nchi za ambapo Kenya umekuelewa ina maana kwamba dili ya adani JKA ni kama ishaivana kitabu ni kama makaratasi ya shaa sahihishwa vitu kisha kwenda ni kazi tumeanzishwe na tumeona vikao mbalimbali vya hapa katika majengo ya bunge seneti jana tumekuwa na national assembly ambayo imekuwa kimohoji waziri wa wa fedha John Badi na meta, kuna kitu ambacho amekitaja jana kwamba mchakato mzima uliharakishwa sana na KAA Daktari inawezekana kwamba leo nakuja kufanya ombi katika ofisi yako chini ya saa 12 ombi langu lishakubaliwa na nishapatiwa nisha bwahe Wa Kenya wanauliza na mna, wakati ambapo mnaeleza wa Kenya kwamba kuna public participation wanashangaa sana Hii public participation huwa inafanikia wapi ni nani hao ambao wanauliza hayo maswali Adani imekuja wa Kenya wamshtikia tu ni kitu ambacho kinakuja kuwafanyikia kilianza mwezi wa tatu tunapozungumza sasa tunaenda kukamilisha mwaka wa Kenya wanakutishwa tu na mambo jambo la pili kuhusiana na adani ni kwamba kuna mchakato mzima wa shaa nyie mwenyewe binafsi sijuisha mwanze na maanisha nini najua ni social health what wa Kenya wanajiuliza hii shaa ni nini na shifu ni nini muwafafanulie waelewe na mbona mkenya alazimishwa mwanzo kujisajili kwa kitu ambacho wenyewe wanauliza kwamba NHIF hakuna yule ambaye alilazimishwa kuwa na NHIF ni mtu mwenyewe binafsi ajilipie ijue ajua kwamba atamsaidia vipi mwisho wa siku swali langu la mwisho na la tatu ni kuhusiana na mkasa wa moto katika shule ya msingi ya darasha tunataka tujue mwanzo sasa hivi daktari na utuhakikishie uchunguzi umefikia wapi wahusika ni akina nani ni hatua zipi zitakazochukuliwa dhidi yao na tunatarajia nini kwa wazazi hawa ambao waliathirika na watoto wao kuchopekea shuleni kufariki na wengine kupotea serikali imefikia wapi na uchunguzi na vile vile asasi za usalama Good afternoon my name is Timothy Torikan from my NFM Media Max my question is maybe uh, spokes you can clarify to us how many people so far have registered for the share and uh, again another question since last week the ministry actually told us that uh, 1.2 million kenyans actually registered i don't know what of uh, the current number because i know it's still the registration is still going on but when you look at uh, the 1.2 million and we have like of uh, 45 million Kenyans in population or 40 million maybe uh, my question is i think the people or the the number of Kenyans that have not yet registered is much more bigger than the people that have registered and last week the ministry actually demonstrated that after uh, the registration is going to end on that uh, is September that is this month on the eve of the launch 1st October the ministry actually said that on 1st October those people that have registered will be given the pri uh, priority to benefit from uh, the act the social health authority what will happen to the people to the remaining Kenyans that have not registered and again what mechanism will be used to register the remaining kenyans after first october uh, my concern is uh, about uh, kenyans who are uh, working uh, in lebanon as the conflict between the Israel and, Le and uh, Hezbollah con continues to intensify. So how many Kenyans do we have in Lebanon and uh, what's their state or is the government following up their issue? Thank you. My question is regarding just to sum it up. As it now, it's Can one... You what's, uh, you state your name so that... Oh, sorry. My name is Helen Aura, a reporter from NTV. My question is regarding number one, Shah. Two of my colleagues have happened to mention it. 
As of now, official records say 1.2 million Kenyans have already registered for SHA. Kenya has over 40 million Kenyans, and we have five more days to the deadline of the rollout for SHA, that is on the 1st of October. Now, what happens to the rest of the Kenyans who have not registered for SHA? Is this also practical, considering the stories we've done, the Kenyans we've spoken to have no idea what SHA is, what SHIF is, what the benefits package even entail altogether? My second question is regarding to the so, so, Helen, your question there is what exactly? Oh, what is the way forward? This is because how practical is it? 1.2 Kenyans have already registered, only registered for SHA, mm. and we have over 40 million Kenyans. Okay. So how practical is it that we're going to launch this thing in the next five days? And to tell Kenyans that they will not be able to access healthcare if they've not registered. Yet when you even go to the ground, Kenyans are not even well aware about what all this entails. My second question also is regarding um, the recent incident of the intern doctor who died by suicide. I wish the CS was here as it was planned, but then again, I believe you can be able to speak on behalf of the government. Kiambu County government has refused to speak to the media regarding this particular issue. We were with them yesterday, they declined to give a right of response, the hospital declined to give a right of response. So what is the way forward, considering the government had said they will be able to settle scores on matters of payment of medical, dental and pharmaceutical interns? Is this the way to go? And the allegations of frustration, especially from a senior supervisor within Gatundu Level 5 Hospital, how is the government planning to be able to address especially this particular supervisor and this particular allegation of frustration at work that led to this girl to die by suicide. Thank you, Ellen. <coughs> the last person, please. Thank you so much, uh, Doctor. My name is Jeff Priscilla. It's you, Priscilla. Priscilla is like the... Priscilla. Priscilla. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. I have uh, just... Because the activity that's been uh, like nation 254. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the activity that's been uh, discomforted within the government uh, since last week on the issue of uh, disagreement between the president and the deputy president. And maybe as a government spokesman, maybe you can tell us because the, the, the deputy president said that he was removed from the WhatsApp of the state. <laughs> and uh, also, he said that uh, that has brought uh, inefficiency in the government. And uh, you are telling us about the efficiency in the government. So I don't know if the government, are they working together? And those the issue of impeachment, because there are plans and the, the Kenyans have seen what has been going on. There is a very, very disunity within the government. So maybe you can clarify. Uh, are you going to reach uh, together in 2027, together or because the impeachment is going on, and the DP has explained it more, so maybe you can clarify more. Uh, Nanyana ito leana doa maulu wa kutoka West Media. Uh, Swali langu linahusu zile nafasi za ajira ambazo umesistiza kwa mba zilipatikana huko ujerumani. Uh, hapo awali kulikuwa na utata kwa mba kazi hizo zipo, mara hazipo, labda uweze kufufanulia wa Kenya hali halisi kuhusu nafasi hizo za ajira ambazo uh, raisa aliweza ku, ku, kuweka mkataba huko ujerumani. Asante. Aye, <laughs> 
kuweza kuishi kule Ujerumani. Kwa hiyo sio kusema kwamba tunakuja tunachukua watu 1250 tunaweka kwa ndege tuwapeleke kule. Kuna mikakati. Je, ni taaluma inayofaa? Je, ni ni nini ambacho ni kipi ambacho tunachokifanya ambacho kinasaidia eh, wewe mwenyewe kuweza ku eh, kufuzu eh, katika eh, nafasi ile? Kumbuka kwamba sio rahisi tu kuingia katika nchi za Uropa. Eh, ukipenda lazima upate ile visa ya Schengen. Lakini kukuwa na mkataba huu kuna kusaidia sisi kuboresha uh, zile nafasi na njia ambazo tunaweza kuzitumia ndipo wa Kenya waweze kufaidi. Kwa nafasi zipo tena kwa wingi. Wanahitaji watu wengi sana kufanya kazi viwandani kwa sababu unajua uchumi wa kule Ujerumani ndio wa juu zaidi. Na hata unaweza kwenda shule. Kusuza neno shule ni la Kijerumani mwanzo shule ni jeni Kijerumani lakini umetoka kule kutoka sababu ya ukoloni wa Ujerumani wakati huo. Kwa hiyo ni vizuri tuweze kuchukua nafasi ile na Kenya imepatiwa kipaumbele kwa sababu tunaonekana kwamba tuna zile taaluma nzuri na tuna ile tajriba ya kufanya kazi nzuri. Na watu ambao ni wajasiriamali, watu ambao e, ni watanashati, watu ambao wanatokeza e, kwa upande. Kwa hiyo hilo ndio jambo la kusitizia hilo. E, Jeff Kizila na kumradhi kwa kuita Priscilla wakati uliopita. Live Nation 254 You know, my friends, they, whatever happens between the president and the deputy president is about my pay grade. And I cannot speak for, for politics, I speak for government. You will ask me about what programs the government is doing or this and that, but in terms of matters politics, we leave it to the people who are directly engaged in politics. But I want to assure you without a doubt that we are focused on delivering our agenda because government exists in perpetuity. And for your information, we all rally behind His Excellency President William Ruto as the head of state and head of government. The office of the government spokesperson is under the executive office of the president, under the head of public service, as the National Government Communication Center. We work in the presidency directly to amplify the key achievements and developments within the presidency. So we rally behind President William Ruto and we will deliver. On the issues to do with the impeachment, let's leave that. It's a purview of parliament. It starts with the National Assembly, ends up in the Senate. We have seen similar things with the various um, governors. We cannot comment further than that because that is a parliamentary process. But I want to assure you and all Kenyans that the government under the leadership of President William Ruto continues to function and to deliver to Kenyans. And um, as government spokesman, I wish to call upon all of the public servants and Kenyans at large to focus on delivery because this year for us is very critical, 2024-2025, uh, so that uh, Uh, come, uh, you know, the other two years going forward, we will have something to report about what we've done for Kenya. So this year is critical, and it is important that we, you know, desist from a lot of, uh, you know, sideshows and being sidetracked and distractions, so that we are able to deliver uh, you know, what we promised to Kenya. Allow me to leave that uh, there. Um, let's come to the issue of the internal uh, Helen Aura. Um, This issue will be investigated and action taken. You know, the issue of the internal doctors has been very contentious, especially in terms of their contractual engagements. It's a matter that is still before court, as you may be aware, uh, of whether how much to pay them, their terms of engagement. Uh, so let's allow that to happen, but this is an individual case, and uh, it is incumbent upon uh, the government to ensure that uh, there is a lot of investigation into this issue, and whoever is culpable, if at all, Uh, uh, something is done you know, to bring you know, justice because we, 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 we actually uphold the practice of justice. Um, and it's not right. Uh, even when you know, overworking people, it's not right. I think 36 hours is a bit on the higher side. Nobody can work for 36 hours and be okay. It's just to do with mental health. So I think uh, that is not something that uh, we can condone. So government is taking action and take it from me. Uh, the cabinet secretary is seized of this matter and uh, you shall be hearing from us you know going forward 
Uh, for your information, uh, my deputy Monesha has just come from the meeting of the school government uh, because we are participating in the rollout of the SHA. We've deployed some of our staffers to help in the communication aspects of it. And uh, we have two million people so far. Uh, it's an ongoing target. So we are not stopping registration. We are we actually about 55 million people because we give birth to about a million kids every year. If you look at the trend from the 2019 and 2009 census. So uh, going forward then, therefore, this is just an ongoing process and we call upon you, uh, you know, to help us to, to, to cascade this information to the ground uh, so that people can understand, you know, uh, I think it's Tony Tony Ken who said he doesn't, uh, is it Tony uh, Ken who said that you don't understand what share means. Social health authority, because an authority that brings about uh, the three funds together on primary health care, on the critical care and emergency, uh, chronic illnesses and also the uh, social health insurance fund. Now, the difference is that it has been expanded because before national health insurance fund was contributory. This is beyond contribution because two of the funds have to get money from the exchequer directly. So we are actually increasing funding to, to health uh, going forward. And level one, two, and three are free. You know, at four, five, and six, you can use shift. And then there's that critical care fund that goes ahead to do so. And in fact, uh, you know, the, 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 the health centers have been given power now to expend money at source based on the payments uh, so that then they are able to improve on, on their infrastructure so that our health centers and, and dispensaries are much, much better. Um, on the issue of Lebanon, uh, Kevin, allow me to get back to you. I know you've worked with me before when there was that fraudulent uh, Canadian issue. Allow me to get back to you on the, the, the specific measures being taken to protect the Kenyans who are working in Lebanon. But it's also good to tell you, like in terms of labor agreements, uh, that has not been going on for some time, although there are many Kenyans who take themselves there. Uh, so let me let me get back to you on that one, uh, Kevin, if you allow me. Um, on the issue of priority, yes, first come, first served, my, my friend Turiken, Timothy, because if you are the first to register, why shouldn't you be the first to also benefit? So we are calling upon, to now arrive in Kenya, Pia, we are going to be able to do it, uh, uh, let me come to the issue um, uh, in Russia. Nafikiri, uh, umeona kabisa uh, ule msimamo ambao umetolewa na waziri husika wa elimu na upelelezi bado unaendelea tunashukuru kwa sababu sasa hivi wale watoto wote ambao waliweza kutuacha kuaga eh, wameweza kuonekana wazazi wao ni akina nani nafikiri ni jambo zuri zaidi Eh, kwa hiyo tutafuatilizia zaidi lakini kuna sheria mpya ambayo inakuja kuhakikisha kwamba matukio kama haya tunaweza kushika eh, wale ambao ni wahusika sio eti tu kupitia sera lakini ni sheria kabambe hilo ambalo tunaweza ku, ku, eh, ku, eh, kushirikiana na waziri eh, pia eh, umeuliza masuala ya shana fikiri hayo niweza kujibu mambo ya adani bado tuna, tunapokea eh, maoni kutoka kwa wananchi but we have to take care of our own people. We have to take care of our own people. We have to take care of our own people. But we have to take care of our own people. But we have to take care of our own people. But we have to take care of our own people. We have to take care of our own people. We have to take care of our own people. We have to take care of our own people. We have to take care of our own people. We have to take care of our own people. We have to take care of our own Kwa hiyo mimi nafikiri hapo niseme kwamba sio dan deal. Kama ingalikuwa ni dan deal tungekuwa tumeshatia sahihi mkataba. Lakini pia usiweze kukosoa <laughs> pendekezo kupitishwa kwa masaa 12 ndugu yangu. Ile hali kama umeelewa kupatiwa huduma kwa serikali pia unalalamika. Ikifanyika haraka unalalamika. Ukifanya ukifanya kwa 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 kwa, kwa, kwa upole pia ni shida. Kwa hiyo ndugu yangu roni ni kuombe kwa unyenyekevu kwamba wacha tupike msasa yale makatao yote ambayo yameweza ku eh, kuwasilishwa alafu tuweze kujua ni nini ambacho tunaweza kufanya tuangalie kama kuna kupendekezo mbadala ili tuweze kusonga mbele eh, kama nchi yetu ya Kenya nafikiri kwa hayo mengi na machache ni sehemu ya santeni sana tuendelee kuwasiliana Kenya itasimama Kenya itainuka Kenya itandawili kwa umoja na uzalendo Mimi ni mkenya mzalendo. Jai wewe, asante.